This took me an extra day to figure out. Dash is in there looking pretty. Welcome back to the channel guys. After everything that we did on the Miata to get it handling right and getting data through the system and being able to log different things, now we're gonna go that one step further. I'm going to install AM CD5. The CD5 is a digital dash that has the ability to log and have GPS input into it, which means I can use it as a data logger for the track that also has integrated lap timing into it. We're going to go through, I'm going to explain the installation, I'm going to show you what all the features are that are going into it, and you'll get a good idea of what the CD5 is all about. So the Miata's got a lot of new parts on it right now. I also got a Mega Squirt Plug and Play 2. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to integrate those two into one awesome display that allows you to have everything you need at your fingertips as well as logging and laptop just finished up getting all of the components on the back of the dash wired up so now I have the can line connected to the back of the dash for all the gauges I also have it connected to other components and I'm gonna work on getting the ECU then connected to the dash also need to connect to power almost be ready to fire it up and check it out so over on this side this is where we're gonna have our beacon button and this is where I'm gonna have my data port. So I'll be able to plug right in here and be able to collect the data from the dash. So I had to create these little inlets for this to sit into. Dash is in there looking pretty. Um, it's all connected up. I just need to feed it some power and do the last little connection to the ECU. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Dash Design. We're gonna go through and check out Dash Design and how the existing setup is and then we're going to configure everything so it can all work with everything we just wired up obviously i didn't show you guys all the wire up process basically we use their uh four port can hub to integrate everything into itself i i do understand i don't need these two gauges to be here anymore but i'm gonna leave them here at the moment um later on down the road i might change that but at the moment i'm gonna leave it the way it is okay this took me an extra day to figure out, so I was struggling highly to get the can broadcasted from the Mega Squirt to the dash. All the AEM net stuff worked, everything worked as it should have, so I was trying everything under the sun. Turns out, the biggest thing I forgot to check was the firmware version on the ECU. My Mega Squirt was a 3.3-1 or something like that. It has to be a 3.4 before it will broadcast to a dash. Make sure your firmware is up to date. So now I get to go through and put everything back together that I've already put together twice and then pulled it all the way apart and then put it back together. So the actual install of the dash was relatively simple and easy. Wiring was simple and easy. Got a little frustrated there for a little bit and uh, let it simmer overnight and thought about a couple things and boom. So as you can see here, I have the dash design layout currently. This is actually the dash design that I have from the Subaru, and I'm just manipulating it to utilize for the Miata. So I made a few changes to it, which would be this bar down here at the bottom. Uh, so it's gonna display uh, various lap time aspects. This is gonna have my predicted lap time, as you can see here. I have my current lap time, my best lap time, the split between a few other things that have changed would be this part right here. Obviously, I don't have a fuel gauge on the Subaru, so I need it on the Miata. Um, also, uh, oil pressure, oil temperature, and water temperature. Um, little other things like the, the, the odometer are also captured here. Uh, all my warnings are up in here, and you can kind of see as you go through all these various aspects here, you can kind of go through and check them, make sure you're basically going to be manipulating it by selecting here, picking what you want, Clicking OK. I basically just utilized a layout that I already had. Obviously, if you had a, a different layout that you wanted to play with, some of the stock layouts, such as this one here from AEM, just as easy. You go in here, you make sure that you have your coolant selected. Boom. Coolant selected. Boom. Go to the next one. Um, engine speed. I also set all these up just as a kind of backups and see what I liked and disliked. 
but I'm going to utilize this one primarily. Uh, one of the things is I wanted to have lap timing. I also put a little clock in here just so I know what time it is because Miatas don't have clocks. Yeah, other than that, it's a pretty simple little setup that you just lay everything in and go from there. The cool thing is you can actually go back in here and you can use this as a simulator. The simulator is hugely important when you're trying to figure out how the gauge will look when it's being displayed. Um, and then you have your channels that you can go into, you have your alarms, you have your warning messages, you have all these different things. So this is probably the biggest thing when it comes to the Mega Squirt to AEM integration. So. As you can see here, we have port one and port two. Port two is actually the one that you're utilizing as the CAN integrator for your Mega Squirt. It's really, really simple. I already have it all set up. As you can see, all my all my pieces are already in here and they're already set up with an ID and length and all the other jazz. It's as simple as coming into here, clicking import, clicking the CAN, going into this, and you're able to easily pick from any of these various ones that they already have. So I can go down and I pick Simplified Dash Broadcast. It has, it has a DBC file already created for it, which makes it so you click it and it integrates it. So you can actually see if I click this and I click open, these are the ones that are gonna, it's gonna give it to me. And then that's gonna generate these different signals that you're going to have. I'm gonna cancel that, but that's exactly what it is. Once you have that, you can actually go in here and if you want to, you can actually delete it or even add others. Super simple to use. Just make sure that you have the correct software on the Mega Squirt. If you have the correct software in the Mega Squirt, you're A-OK. -okay. So today we're at World Springs. We're going to be doing some testing with the CD5, doing some data acquisition, as well as just testing it as an overall to see how we like it on the track. Let's go check out the on-track action and what I see when I'm driving the, with the CD5. So we've went out, we've tested it. So far, I really like the shift lights. The shift lights have a really bright LED involved with them. So it makes it really easy to see out of your peripheral vision. It's also really nice to be able to see all the different things that you wanna see on one screen. Uh, setting up the beacon so I can actually get a lap time on that display as well is pivotal in the usage of the CD5. Love it. 
Um, now I can actually see my Delta, my current lap, and my fastest lap in that session. And then I can come back, download it all, all in one place. Great little tool, love it so far. Definitely having a good time with it.